What is up, my retail fam? It's your boy Mike coming at you from. Yeah, wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. You already know. You already know. Just two more seconds. Ah, the crib. Now, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Before I get started, you can like and subscribe. You can keep on scrolling and you can hang out for a couple of minutes. Okay, now it is Sunday. It's a gorgeous day outside. About to head outside in the backyard and go hang out for a little bit, barbecue, maybe do a couple things like that. Anyways, the family's out there. Now, I hope everybody's having a great weekend. There's a question. I've been getting everywhere. I've been seeing it. I've been hearing it. It's been DM'd to me. I've been having conversations out and about, and, and it's baffling, okay? Now, I'm not the end-all, be-all. This is just my opinion. This is not financial advice. Again, this is just my opinion. This is the question. Can and will AMC get to 140 or 150 bucks this coming week? Can AMC really get to 140 or 150 bucks this week? The answer to that simply is yes. Can it? Okay, but also ask this question, will it? The answer is also big question mark, okay? Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that AMC cannot do it because AMC can do it. It has the potential to do anything, to do things that we've never seen before. You know, to leave Volkswagen in the, in the dust, to leave it in, the, in a rearview mirror, GameStop as well, to have to push you incredible heights and, and life change your money. You know, people wanna mention HKD. There's a big difference between HKD and AMC, obviously, right? But the question gets down to, can AMC reach 140 or 150? I'm gonna say this, and this is just my opinion, strictly my opinion. Is it possible? Yes, anything is possible. Also, here's one thing that I also wanna mention is the fact that if AMC does push to 140 or 150, 100% of retail will actually be in the money. That would be fantastic. That'd be something that we probably haven't seen since it ran up to 70 some dollars, okay? Even at half that, 80 bucks, $78, whatever that price is, 100% of retail will be in the money. It'd be life-changing for a lot of people, people that bought in low and all these things. What would they do? Were they gonna sell? They're gonna hold? Uh, even we got the conversion, you got, you know, Ape going, converting to AMC, you have the reverse stocks, but you have all these things down the road. What will people do? Will people hold for 150? Will people, um, you know, even if it went to 250, even 300 bucks, even they hit HKD numbers, is it possible? Simple answer to that, yes, anything is possible, but we're talking about a stock that's heavily manipulated, that has hedge for the money, has bank money, it has people of influence money tied up into this. And the last thing they want is for us to actually have life-changing money at a drop of a hat. Now, I'm also gonna say this. If Adam Aaron came out and he says, we have the shorts by the nuts and there's nothing they can do about it, we're gonna squeeze. Even if he says 150, 200, 300, 2,000, 5,000, I don't care what he says. Here's the thing about that. For me, it means absolutely nothing. It means zero, nit, nada, it means nothing to me. Because here's the difference. God himself came back and said, hey, Mike, <laughs> AMC is gonna hit 5,000 bucks, 10,000, 100,000, whatever you wanna say, a million, a bazillion, whatever you got, okay? AMC comes out and hits that number. Still means absolutely nothing to me. And people are probably sitting here right now like, you're full of it. You're a bunch of BS. Let me tell you why. Because until you have cash in hand, until you have that filthy, stinking, nasty, life-changing money sitting in front of you, cash, not in your account, not in your brokerages, not anywhere like that. Because remember, what's going on with other brokerages, especially with crypto, um, with other brokerages withdrawing your money, even banks, even around the world withdrawing your money, you couldn't withdraw your money. You couldn't get it. So it doesn't matter if you had life-changing money, you still couldn't get it. But point being is the fact is this, if you're able to sell at some ridiculous amount for AMC, even GameStop, put them both in there, they're gonna run the same. If you're able to sell at some ridiculous amount, that is great, it's fantastic, but it means nothing. Because the question is, even if you submit, submit a withdrawal request, still means nothing. Until it's actually fulfilled and transferred to your bank, still means nothing until you actually could go to the bank and get that money and have it cash in hand and have just racks or have, you know, wherever you want to get, you know, a couple million dollars, you know, five million, seven million, whatever it is, whatever amount of money you make until you can actually have it in an asset, it means nothing. I tell you, cash is king. So something like this, can AMC get to 150? Can AMC get to 250, 300, whatever? Yes. The answer to that is yes. Anything is possible, but can you cash out? But can you get the money in your brokerages? Can you get it in your account? Not only that, can you withdraw it, but can you have it in cash in hand? Can you get it to some place where you actually purchase something? Can you actually have it where it becomes meaningful in your life? That is the key right there. That's what I'm waiting for. So it doesn't matter if you know I have all these zeros in my bank account, even just tons and tons of zeros, 
it really means nothing. Until I'm able to have access to that money 100%, then I can take a seat back and be like, wow, that was amazing. This is the reason why I held. But AMC 150, 250, yeah, it's possible. Will it happen? I don't know. Nobody knows. I don't have a crystal ball. If I knew, I would tell everybody that I know. If I knew, I would just scream from the rooftops. Yes, it's going to be X price. Play these calls, play this, play that. I'll tell everybody. But no one knows. The hedge funds don't even know. So I want to say this. I don't care if you call it hopium. I don't care if you call it, you know, um, I guess that's the only word I can think of right now is just hopium, right? Whatever it is, whatever price it runs up to, I don't care what number that is. Do what's best for your family. Do what's best for you and your family. By doing best with you and your family, make sure you're able to have access to that money. Because having all these zeros in your brokerages and having all these zeros and, and many accounts spread throughout all the place means nothing until you have cash in hand, until you have the money in your maybe your own bank. Now, I'm not saying I, I bank with a credit union, so I'm pretty safe once my money gets to the credit union. I, I'm pretty happy when it gets there. I'll be ecstatic, right? And even after the life changing money, even after all these things happen, people ask me the question, what would you do? The answer to that, again, is absolutely nothing. I would do nothing, probably for a couple months. I'll continue the exact same way of life simply because I got to let it digest. I got to process it and understand what just happened. Understand how I'm going to invest. Have a plan. Have a strategy, not only for the future, but for my children, for my, my children's children, and, and just down the road. People need to understand this, okay? So can AMC reach 150 to 250, 300, 5,000, 10,000, 1 million, whatever you want to go? Answer to that is yes. Will it? It's a big question mark. Nobody knows. Now, specifically for this week, I'm always about no dates, no times, no price brackets, nothing. It'll happen when it happens. It's going to get to where it gets there, and it's going to do what it's going to do. The price of AMC is not the price of AMC. The price of GameStop is not the price of GameStop. The price of your account, it is what it is. But until you get that money withdrawn, filled into your account, and you have cash on hand, and it becomes attainable to yourself like this, it really means nothing. Anyways, family, have a great day. Have a great weekend. This week, people ask me, what do I see for this week? I see a rough market this coming this week. I see a rough road ahead this week. And... um. It's unfortunate. I know we've been green. A lot of people have been, you know, thinking that we're going to enter another bull run. I'm still, I don't see it. And um, I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm also rather be late to the party on the upside and then be early to the party on the downside. It's simple as that. That's all I have. Have a blessed day again. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, futures are coming out pretty soon. And that's all I have. Remember, the retail investor is always last to know. Love my AMC family, my retail family. We're all one big family. Remember that, all right? Take it easy. Peace.